on, everybody. Clap your hands. As the annual U.S. budget for the islands expanded, hundreds of people were hired to fill new government positions. Full-time wage employment in the islands doubled in the mid-1960s, and then it doubled again. By the early 1970s, 12,000 people had full-time jobs. All of this fueled the rapid growth of stores and other private businesses. The towns were growing with the influx of people moving in to seek work and new opportunities. Those days you see the growth of more stores, more people moving in. And once they experience their stay in Majuro, very few of them go back. You know, they see what they can get here and what they can get out there. You know, the schools were better here. And so most of them stay in Majuro. You know, people began to end their colonia to recite their, build their house and, and then live in Colonia, especially those who are employed by the government. Colonia was building up all the time and the suburbs started to grow. Mokalis, Kushayan village, Pingalepes, uh, New Gorns and, and Kapingas. With rapidly growing populations, Island capitals everywhere were being transformed. What once were sleepy villages were now becoming genuine towns, complete with wide main streets and a hustle and bustle that had not been known before. With all the new trust territory jobs came bi-weekly paychecks and islanders started spending like never before. Suddenly there were movie theaters, ice cream shops, taxi cabs, pool halls, and stores, stores, stores. I used to earn uh, $27 in two weeks. And most of the public work uh, employees, they were getting 15 cents an hour. Yeah. But satin would cost you 25 cents. A corn beef would cost you 50 cents. It was good because things were very cheap during those days, you know. Modern means of transportation, once reserved for a lucky few, were now affordable for many working Micronesians. Outboard engines were an instant hit. So were motor scooters. With air service to each of the islands, there was a demand for new airports. And with all the new cars and pickup trucks came new paved roads. For young people, these were exciting times. From the confinement of village life, they came to the towns where they could try on new lifestyles as easily as they could change their clothes. They grew their hair, found new friends, and new pastimes. They reveled in the freedom that life now offered them. They were the new breed in Micronesia.
But as the town populations increased, there were growing pains as well. Drunkenness and unruly behavior were commonplace. There were about more than 20 bars, starting from where Bank of FSM is now, and then all the way down to Taketuk. And people have a leisure of moving from bar to bar, having drinking. And the policemen were called to this bar. The locals in there didn't like the fact that they were trying to arrest them and a policeman was killed, no one was wounded. You, you have to be alert. I was chased many times by gangs. <laughs> it was scary. And if you the wrong place at the wrong time, then you can be beaten unless you are fast enough to get away. Alcohol was forbidden to islanders before 1960, and drinking offered new thrills and dangers. It was a nightmare, especially payday weekends. And a beer was a quarter a beer. If you have two dollars a year drunk, people will be in the bars, and it's just one after another. And it will be noisy, and people will be dancing, you see kids around, you know, peeping inside, seeing what's happening. And, and when a drunkard came out, everybody would scram. The Boom Boom Room, uh, there's a, of course Peleliu Club. And yes, every weekend it's just, just a lot of commotion. You know, we, it's just the kids, we go out, go down and just be hiding be between the bush and look at the fights. It's, it, it never, never failed, every weekend. <laughs> During those days, you know, I wouldn't go buy a bar because, you know, those days were also not a place for women to go. I remember one time, one of the boss's brothers was coming after people, you know, just going around like this with this machete. So I started running also for my life, <laughs> running to the dock to jump on the boat. <laughs> 